Hello Cancer, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to your tarot. Um, reading, this is going to be a reading entitled Who's Been Spying slash Checking Up on You slash Doing a Bit of Stalking to see what you've been up to. Um, so I will be using a couple of different decks, so let's get straight into it and see what comes up. Okay, this is someone that you had a powerful relationship with. You've come up as the Ace of Cups here. This is a loving commitment, possibly a marriage, an engagement, or the promise of doing or having something very traditional in your relationship. Now, it could be someone who's far in a different culture or that's been at a distance to you. Both the boat and the long distance horizon we see with the Three of Wands makes me think it's a long distance love um, or someone that you're sort of separated from the wheel of fortune that's come up next to this person um the knave of wands um reversed and then the five the five of wands uh reversed here okay so we've got four fire cards oh, sorry three fire cards aries sagittarius or leo person may be coming through here Okay, it's someone that you may have had two relationships with or it's very cyclical. Whatever it is that you've had together was very cyclical. Um, the Wheel of Fortune makes me think it was a big relationship you had with this person, okay? It impacted you or it changed you. It transformed you, your life, how you see love, but also it transformed that for this person here as well. Um, now, this is quite a spiritual person who's coming up. So they're big on religion um, or philosophy. You know, we see maybe a bit of history here. So it's someone who's, um, they're a bit of an old soul maybe, or they're very wise. They were very wise for their age. The Knave of Wands reversed with the Five of Wands reversed makes me think that this person isn't taking any action um, right now to have something with you. I'm seeing that they're in two minds about your connection, actually. They've thought about the future and they think about you. Um, but I would say from what I'm seeing here is that they're sending more energetic vibes than anything else. So, and <clears throat> the bird here makes me think that the bird is a communicator. It's a messenger. <clears throat> so when I see this, it makes me think something that this person wholeheartedly wishes to communicate, or it could be someone you do communicate with still, okay? So there's still some sort of contact, or there will be some sort of contact with this person. Now, when contact has been made, They've either spoken something about cycles, they've mentioned cycles, possibly the long distance future or possibly engagements, marriages, ceremonies, anything traditional or any major milestone that happens in a love relationship. Children, for example, they've spoken about this or they've mentioned this to you. Or they've mentioned heavy, big topics like God or philosophy, like we were meant to be together or... You know, there's a lot of abstract concepts around this person. So they're a deep thinker and they've expressed this to you or they will express this to you. I think you still are in communication and I think it's very likely that the hand of God, okay, call it what you will, um, the universe, spirit, angels, the um, you know, your wishes and intentions, fate, is going to give you a second chance with this person. Because the notion of the water, the water, especially in medieval decks, it's modeled on ancient mythology. And, and what we can deduce from that is that the water symbolizes cleansing, okay? It's it's renewal. And it's washing away the bad, the sin, the toxicness, and welcoming in something new. So it could be someone you've recently sort of picked things up with, maybe, or it could be someone that you will have something very beautiful with. Like I said, the Wheel of Fortune is here. We've got the Ace of Cups, the Infinity Symbol. It's almost like you're destined to be with this person either again or you're destined to embark on another cycle. So Cancer, straight away, I get the fact that you either have recently entered, re-entered into this uh, relationship with this person or 
you ended things, it's been long distance, maybe you moved away, you've separated, you are somehow separated by distance. And maybe that's the reason why this person can't take action right now. Um, but the, the, we see the wheel here. It reminds me of a wheel, okay, driving. This person could be sort of driving past certain areas you visited in their city, state, or country. Maybe they're driving around and they think about you. Um, or maybe they drive past your work or drive past, say, for example, if you work for a company and it's international, um, they drive past places that remind them of you. And, you know, there's, there's, there's a real sweetness here. Um, but they're not taking action. So I get it's a more energetic and, and um, emotional checking up on you. And, and you know, maybe they, they pray about you. Okay, maybe they ask about you. Maybe they say, okay, well, I hope this person's doing well, God or whoever, um, you know. Or maybe they just, they just release some sort of intentions. You know, we do that. We're powerful beings, Cancer. And maybe this person is just sort of doing that rather than doing too much heavy stalking. They're sort of wishing you well and saying, you know, I hope they're doing well, or I wonder what they're doing, or if we could just move past that, or if we had gone about things differently there, it, it could have been different. So, so yeah, I mean, that that's the kind of vibe I get from it. And that may have had some, they may have had some sort of toxic cycles. We see the little devils at the top here, and then the sphinx up the top, uh, down the bottom, with the sphinx up the top. Um, and seeing that it makes me think this is someone who has had some toxic thoughts okay or has not been coping well since you haven't been together and they're trying to remove that and that's why they're sending out this very clear very wholesome energy towards you and you may be feeling it cancer okay you may be feeling it in your mood and it's synchronicity um, often you might even be thinking about this person. I definitely get the synchronicity here. You're thinking about each other at the one time and you're connected. That connection is here. You're connected. You're not taking action, but emotionally and energetically, you're both connected. And I think at times you're both thinking about each other at the same time, which I think is really sweet. And I think it's a profound message here of that synchronous activity that's happening between you and this person. And it's absolutely beautiful, um, Cancer. But I sense there's something here in the works. There's something that's going to be or going to come from this, I think. But I will leave it at that. So thank you again for tuning in. Please leave a like if you have enjoyed this content. Otherwise, I'll catch you tomorrow for your weekly read for Monday, so make sure you check back in then. Otherwise, uh, lots of love, Cancer, and until next time, ciao for now.